We're here in the Kinleba Marine Mast Ladder Assembly Shop, so I can show you how to get one of our mast ladders back in its bag. And when the ladder arrives, it's packed quite compactly. We do that to take up as little room as possible for shipping. The ladder arrives and is generally kept in its dry bag. This is a tough PVC and polyester bag designed to protect the ladder and prolong its life. Inside the dry bag, the ladder is in a drying bag, which is an Airtex bag. It's quite a flexible material, so it's easier to get over the um, ladder a bit like a sock. And um, then when you hold the ladder up to lower it into the dry bag, this holds it a bit more compact. Now, this is a 13 metre ladder, and uh, which is quite a, a relatively large one. Um, inside the drying bag, this is what the ladder looks like, packed up. It's held together with a strap, and if we take the strap off, you can see that it unrolls into this sort of shape. Now, this is a standoff version, and it has its um, drawstring for um, pulling it up a little bit like a Venetian blind. This means that this ladder can get past swept spreaders because when it's in this um, pulled up position, it can stand off that far away from the mast, from the luff groove. And that enables it to get easily past swept spreaders. If you have parallel swept spreaders, then your ladder won't have the standoff system on it. And to get it back in the bag, we use a slightly different approach. But with a standoff system, you simply pull it into this position, lower it down the mast in this position. And then when it reaches the boom, before you take it out of the luff groove, you pull the drawstring up, tie its uh, slip knot, and then drop it out of the luff groove. And you have it ready in this position, ready to roll up which you can do quite simply, put the strap round it, pop your drying bag over the top and then lower it into your dry bag. Okay, so this is a ladder for a mast with parallel spreaders, so it doesn't have a standoff system and it's in, it arrives inside its dry bag and inside its drying bag and then is rolled up like this, held together with a strap. So when the strap comes off and you unroll it, it's in a very similar state to the standoff. However, this one is held together with baling twine and when you release it, the ladder unfurls. Now, trying to get it back to the same uh, compact size without using the baling twine, um, if you were to use it, it would take a lot of time and it's not a practical proposition. So we've tried various different ways to find which is the best way to um, pack up your ladder after use. And we've found that the best thing to do is not to try and roll it up at all. The best way is to simply use a seat down below or in your cockpit and just lower it rung by rung into a pile and then gather it into a bundle. 
Once it's in a bundle, you can put your And you can see that although it's not quite as tidy, it actually takes up the same amount of space because I've used a strap on the same, uh, same length. From here, all you do is you pull your uh, drying bag over the top of it and then lower the whole bundle into your dry bag.